Hey guys, Chan from Six Blog. I was just about ready to cook some lunch and uh, I'm going to try a new meal here. So I figured I'd go ahead and pull the video camera out and just uh, kind of capture some of it on video and kind of spread the word like that. Um, this is the Beef Mountain Stew from Paleo Meals to Go. About a week and a half ago I got an email from a lady named Dawn, uh, which is from Paleo Meals to Go, and she was asking me if I'd be interested in trying one of her meals for a review. Uh, so I told her, sure, I'd be happy to give it a try, although I did let her know that I'm not a big paleo guy and honestly don't really have much of a clue as far as what paleo really is. Um, so she said, that's fine. She said, we'd be happy to send you out some anyway, uh, and if you like it, you know, feel free to do a review and help us spread the word maybe. So I said, okay, I'll give it a shot. I just got it in the mail uh, yesterday or the day before, so... Uh, Saturday afternoon, not at work, so I figured I'd go ahead and take the time and give it a shot. Uh, I do want to say that this is, uh, like I said, it's Paleo Meals to Go. This is a small company. They've only been in operations for uh, less than a year, I think. Um, they're based out of Denver, Colorado, and they obviously are big uh, on the Paleo Meals. So they've started putting together these meals to uh, kind of adhere to the general principles of Paleo diets. Um, there's a lot of things out there that, a lot of meals out there, um, but there's not any that I'm aware of, which like I said, I'm not a big follower, but there's not any that I'm aware of that are, uh, that adhere to the paleo diet, and this is what they've decided to do. So, just trying to get the word out there for those that are on paleo. I do know some of my friends are paleo, and, uh, I've heard them talk about it, but honestly, I've just never gotten into it. Um... I'm interested in seeing how this tastes to see if it's something that I like. Um, and if it is, uh, to be quite honest, it'll probably encourage me to look more into paleo. Uh, saying that, uh, from what I've read, paleo is kind of like a caveman diet. Uh, if it's something the cavemen could find and eat, then it was allowed. Um, so some of the things that um, you know a caveman couldn't come across is things that you wouldn't eat as a, under a paleo diet. So basically what you're left with is kind of natural raw ingredients uh, that are free from a lot of additives and stuff that are in pretty much everything that you find today, uh, whether at a restaurant or in your refrigerator at home or on the shelves at the grocery store. Um, so uh, I'm not going to try and explain what paleo is. If you know what paleo is, uh, this is probably going to be of interest to you. If you don't, maybe it'll give you uh, something to look into. I do want to say that, um, like I said, they're a small company. They've only got four meals at, at the moment. Uh, they've got a beef and a chicken dinner. Uh, and then they also have this Aloha breakfast as well as another breakfast. I can't remember what the name of it is. Uh, but all of them, like I said, they adhere to the general principles of a paleo diet. Saying that, each one of these meals are 13 bucks a piece or $12.99 to be fair. Um, but considering... The benefits of eating a natural ingredient or a natural uh, healthy meal uh, that these uh, are marketing to offer, technically you're going to be a healthier person, you're going to have less medical bills, and you're just going to be better. And I mean, that should be something that we all aim for is to just have a healthier lifestyle. And uh, these meals are claiming that they would, you know, be part of that. So anyway, I'm getting a little deep, deeper than I know. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I just want to talk about this real quick. It's 2.89 ounces is the net weight of just the food. Uh, the entire packaged uh, meal here is actually 4.5 ounces. But at the 2.89 ounces, that means you're getting about 104, let me just say it's 300 calories per serving, which is one serving, this bag is one serving. So you're getting about 104 calories per ounce, which is not, not great, not super great, but it is good. Uh, I try to get at least 100 uh, calories per ounce, and if I'm over 100 calories per ounce, I'm happy. So this, this does meet that goal. Um, it's loaded with protein, uh, 37 grams of protein, got 14 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of fat. Those are all things that are very beneficial to uh, somebody that's out hiking all day long and looking to get, um, you know, to have enough energy uh, to be able to hike all day long and just not feel all wore down. Um, 300 calories, that's not a lot of calories, you know, that's not a lot of calories. However, um, if you supplement other items and stuff with this, like some breads or something maybe, if breads are on the paleo diet, I, honestly I don't know, 
But I'm sure there's other things you can supplement with it to add extra calories in. Um, at 300 calories, this would probably be good for a lunch. I don't know if I would be happy with it for dinner. I don't know. We'll just have to see. So that's just some basic things. I do want to say that uh, their uh, directions for cooking this or preparing this meal uh, instruct you to cook it in the bag. As you can see, it does have a, uh, it's got a uh, bottom. I can't think of what it's called right at the moment, but it opens up so the bag can stand up, so that's quite nice. Uh, it's a paper bag on the outside, but it has a plastic liner on the inside. And honestly, that's one thing that kind of made me curious. I'm all fine eating out of plastic bags and stuff like that, but uh, most people backpacking uh, that looks into eating and stuff, they know that there's a big, big argument out there as far as eating out of plastic bags versus aluminum pots versus titanium pots versus whatever else. Um, but a lot of people don't like eating out of plastic bags because they're afraid of what could be leached out of a plastic bag. So that kind of makes me wonder if that is the best option whenever you're looking at something that's a healthy option, if eating out of a plastic bag is a healthy option. Um, I'm not going to go any farther into that. I'm okay with it, uh, but I just wanted to bring it up. Uh, you can kind of look in there, maybe if that's focusing, um, kind of see what it looks like. This is a freeze-dried meal from what I understand, so it should rehydrate uh, pretty well. Um, as far as instructions, they just instruct you to boil about one and a quarter to one half, one and a half cups of water and then add it into this. Seal it up, let it sit for about four to six minutes. Uh, yes, four to six minutes and then it's good to go. Um, one cool thing that I do like about this, since the outside is paper instead of aluminum or anything else, it makes it really easy once you cook your meal you could just come over here and kind of tear this across so that you would have a shorter bowl to eat it out of. So you wouldn't have to have one of those long-handled spoons. I don't mind eating along with long-handled spoons, but uh, it is kind of weird holding a, a big tall bag and trying to eat out of it. It would be nicer if I had something smaller to eat out of. So that is nice, uh, eating it out of that. So what I've got here is I've got about 10 ounces of water. I'm going to go ahead and heat that up real quick. I've actually... Um, I've actually already heated it once, so it shouldn't take too much longer to heat up. Um, and then I'm going to add that to the bag, and I'm going to give it a try. Uh, one thing I want to say, uh, they have salt, sea salt crystals and some uh, nectar honey crystals that they send. They send these separate instead of already added to the meals. That way, if uh, for any dietary restrictions or anything like that, if you don't want it in there, uh, it's not already in there. You have it here and it's your choice to add it to the to the meal. So uh, for this meal, um, it comes with a little card. Let me just pull it out and show you here. It comes with this little card here. I don't know if that's focusing there. But it tells you what to add to each meal. So for the beef mountain stew, they're suggesting one package of sea salt. And I have that one package of sea salt here. And uh, I'll probably go ahead and add that. So my water's already boiling. Like I said, that's 10 ounces of water. So I'm going to go ahead and add it to the meal. That's done. Go ahead and give it a little stir. I got to say, it smells good. Um, one other thing, too, I want to say that um, it's nice because. 10 ounces of water is not a lot of water. Um, also, when I was looking at the um, when I was looking at the Aloha breakfast, it only calls for one half to three quarter cups of water, which is like five or six ounces of water is all you need. So that is something that's nice, not having to have just a ton of water to cook with, um, because sometimes when you're out on the trail, it's uh, kind of hard to come by water. So meals that don't require a ton of water is, is kind of nice for me. Uh, that's something that I like to look for on occasion when I'm looking for meals to go backpacking. So anyway, I'm going to let this sit for about four to six minutes. Uh, then I'll turn the camera back on and I'll give you my impressions of what it tastes like. So hang on. Okay, so it's been six minutes. I gave it the full six minutes. Like I said, it was recommended four to six minutes. Uh, one thing I did do while the camera was off is I added the little salt package to it uh, just to kind of give it some extra salt. Saying that, I do want to say that um, 
The sodium listed on here is 1,390 milligrams or 58%. Uh, and that's a little high, I think. I could be wrong. Um, but I guess it's okay if you're out all day hiking, sweating, and everything like that. It's good to replace your sodium. Um, however, for somebody just eating this daily, uh, it may not be the best option to have quite so much salt. Uh, I'm not really sure about that, but that's just something I kind of saw and kind of raised my attention. So what I'm going to do, just take a look at it here. It actually smells pretty good. I see there is still some water in there. And like I said, I added 12 ounces and recommend it is, uh, I mean, I added 10 ounces and recommend it is between 8 and 12. So I don't know if you can see that. It's probably not focusing too well. So what I'm going to do, it looks like it's rehydrated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to tear it a little lower. See how that does. The plastic's making it kind of difficult to tear. Of course, now that I am tearing this, I cannot reseal it or reuse the bag. There we go. That's a little better. So maybe you can see that now. It actually smells quite good. Let me see here. Take some out and show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's focusing, dropping it. Anyway, it smells good, so I'm going to give it a try. Initially, that is really good. It's like, it's real. And that is good. Okay, so initially, this is actually pretty tasty. I like it. However, one thing that I have found in eating other meals is that when it starts out, it's good. Of course it's good. I'm hungry. It's hot. It's food. It's something I can put in my belly. However, with a few other meals from other companies, I have found sometimes that by the time I finish the meal, it's not near as good as what I thought it was when I first started it. So I'm going to finish eating this meal off camera, and when I get done, I will turn the camera back on and share a few more thoughts. So I'll see you then. Okay, so I have finished the meal, uh, and overall, I was really happy with it. <clears throat> the taste was really good uh, from the time I started eating to the time that I finished. I enjoyed eating it. I didn't feel like I was having to force myself to eat uh, the remaining of it once I kind of satisfied my initial hunger. Uh, like I said, like I have with some of my other meals. One thing that I do want to say, um, I think next time I'm going to add, or next time I try this meal, I would add a little bit less water. I guess it just depends on how you like your food. But me, uh, I prefer not to have it quite, for this meal I would have preferred it not to be quite so soupy. And don't get me wrong, it wasn't very soupy. But um, I found that as I got about halfway through, uh, there was still some water that hasn't been quite soaked up. Uh, like I said, I used 10 ounces of water. Uh, it called between 8 to 12 ounces of water is what it called for. Next time I would probably just try it with 8 ounces to see how that did. Uh, another thing, because there was a little extra water in it uh, that didn't quite get absorbed, I felt like the last several spoonfuls that I had uh, was kind of, I hate to say gritty, um, but it's probably the best way I could explain it. Uh, basically what I'm talking about is uh, of course the food was chopped up some of it was a lot finer than others so a lot of the smaller pieces kind of got dragged to the bottom because of the water that was left in the meal 
and the last few bites that I had, it was a lot of those real tiny, small pieces. Uh, so I felt it was kind of, like I said, gritty, uh, as opposed to the very first few bites that I had that was just all, you know, hearty, kind of big pieces of, uh, uh, just to let you know what was in here, it's cooked beef, uh, carrots, onions, celery, mushrooms, garlic, pepper, thyme, and celery seed and marjoram. But those first few bites, or first half of it actually, was just big chunks of all of it. Um, so it was really good. Overall, I'm really happy with it. And even though, like I said, they do cost $12.99 per meal, I will definitely be looking to pick up another one of these as well as the chicken. I'm interested in trying the chicken uh, to carry with me on some backpacking trips. So I want to say a big thanks to Dawn for sending these out and giving me the opportunity to check them out. Uh, and to everybody else that's watched the video, I appreciate you watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you may have or reply to the comments. And as well, you can get in touch with uh, the guys that, or girls at Paleo Meals To Go. Uh, I think it's paleomeals2go.com is their actual web address. Uh, and I'm sure that they will be exact, they'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have for them. Anyway guys, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Later.